Hi guys! Last month while in Chicago, I stopped by the Heatiful Salon and got a protective style by one of their stylists, Daria. I really enjoyed the outcome and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Today we're at Beautiful Salon Chicago. I'm Daria Redding, and today we'll be styling Sharnika or Shari J with our basic beautiful hydrating conditioning treatment with the Style Menu 4. Here at Beautiful, we are a treatment-based salon. So we're doing the basic hydrating and conditioning treatment, which involves a shampoo cleanse with the detangle. We also apply our conditioning treatment to the hair and is steamed in for 20 minutes followed by a dynamic style from either our style menu one two or three we also have the nano smoothing treatment which is our luxury conditioning treatment it lasts for eight to twelve weeks and it fills up the hair strands with amino acid called cysteine it helps if you want to be flexible in styling going from curly to straight, if you have problems with breakage or frizz, and if you just want longer lasting, hydrated and moisturized hair. So now I'm actually detangling your hair. I like parted through the hair just to show how easily the hair is manageable once you apply the um, shampoo mm -hmm. and you're able to, you know, it really works its way to fill up your hair strands with hydration and moisture. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just doing a light detangle because your hair is pretty much detangled. Um, we do get questions about why do you guys say something about a detangling fee? It's not to say that. You know, we're making people have to, like, oh, we're going to charge you to detangle your hair because we don't. But what we do charge for is if you haven't detangled your hair in, like, seven days okay. and you've had, you know, a protective style in um, for three months and you're just like, okay, I'm going to come and get my hair done. Um, we're actually a time-based salon, okay. and we um, don't double book either. Oh, nice. So your appointment time is your appointment time. Okay. We're strictly online booking, so that's another thing. You have to chase down your stylist to get an appointment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could just, you know, look online, see who's available, book your time, and come in. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Strengthening mask ingredients um, 
of deionized water and glycerin protein. So the hair has a great balance of protein, hydration, and Ultra stage treatment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, is it gonna be hot? I'm like, mm-mm. Just relax. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> So right now I'm applying just a little bit of the Hicks edges right at the base, close to the base of the scalp. It gives really, really great sleekness. So I know you want that sleek, smooth, nice. Okay. Yes. Nice. And then I'm using uh, so tentacles. They have on Moisture Marilla Muru. I call it the Muru Guru. <laughs> um, it provides great added moisture. Um, to the hair, soften it up, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. You want to smell it? I have her product. Oh, oh yeah. So, so I already yeah. know. Woo. I already know. <laughs> I love that. I actually use that with my um, twist mm -hmm. to retwist mm -hmm. at night. With steaming and then following up with a protective style is really critical because you get. The opportunity to have the hair very hydrated and moisturized and placed up into a nice unique style um, the winter weather is very harsh on our curls and steaming helps to provide you with the proper hydration and moisture and then the protective style just helps to keep the hair up it's free from manipulation which means that you'll probably reduce any breakage or any other things that could potentially happen to the hair. And you have a nice convenient style that you don't have to worry about for at least two to three weeks. There are a couple of do's and don'ts, not only with protective styling, but with adding hair. Um, one of the biggest do's is to ensure that you take care of your hair first. Mm -hmm. So when you're getting added hair, you want to make sure that your hair is properly hydrated and moisturized and cleansed before going under any type of install or adding like Marley Twist, which is all the rave or the crochet braids with oh. the Marley hair. You want to make sure you protect that hair underneath. Um, another great do is you do want to look at how much or the quality of hair that you're um, buying. Um, sometimes that can make a difference, not only in styling wise, cause you want the hair to blend or match your own texture, mm -hmm. but you do want it of good quality just in case you want to utilize it again at a different juncture. Um, some don'ts <laughs> with adding hair. One of our biggest um, issues that we have with clients who come out of um, protective styles is um i would say not proper removal mm -hmm. um of the hair not necessarily of like a sewing and taking it down properly it's more so their hair underneath when they're getting a chance to work with it and so we always suggest we have something like braids um even if it's a sew-in that you have your conditioner bottle on hand mm -hmm and you do your detangling right then and there in regards to uh, getting that product build up that's right at the base of wherever the braid or the twist is. Yeah. Another one is just to not keep them in for so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've had clients who've kept hair in for longer than they should and um, maybe have even went to someone who used a little bit too much tension and so now they're having weaker edges, thinning hair, and you wanna just not keep 
added here in for, I would say no longer than two months. It's a sew in or some braids or twists. Uh, updo, you probably could keep in for like three weeks before it starts to look, you know, kind of old. Mm -hmm. So um, prior to us applying the added hair, um, unfortunately a lot of times you can't find, when you have colored hair, you can't find a lot of, I would say, the blends that you need in order to match your own colored hair. So what we did was we had a 40 and a 30 that we're blending together. And I basically just took a loose both of the parts and did some pretty chunky twists. And I'm gonna pin all of this up into some fun hair. <laughs> shine is just to add some additional sheen mm -hmm. and I'm gonna focus this more so on your flat twist okay. and your scalp. And how do I care for this like going forward? So I always recommend having like uh, if you have a satin wrap mm -hmm. um, something that you can tie from around here to protect this mm -hmm. and then I know that the um, added hair is a little bit bigger mm -hmm. um, if you could place a bonnet over it you can get a good two to three weeks out of the style oh. just by um, placing your wrap, tying it where the knot is right here, mm -hmm. and your bonnet over it. And then you can hit it with some light uh, shine or sheen. And you probably have a lot of different ones you could choose from, mm -hmm. but any shine or sheen you can apply to the hair. And I always try to focus on, you know, what's exposed your scalp. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 